Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, August 26th. And no, this is not a repeat of Monday or Tuesday. This is actually Wednesday morning and we're looking to gap higher possibly for the third day in a row, right? Here's Friday, gapped higher, we held it, gapped higher yesterday, filled it in the first hour. Now again attempting a small gap with just about an hour, 10 minutes to go prior to the opening. Pre-market volume, once again, horrendous at 270,000. Average volume is down to 51 million. So let's go over destinations and a game plan. So right now, I'm gonna use yesterday's high still, since there's still an hour to go, of 344.21 as your first upside destination. Then as of right now, we have a new pre-market high today of 344.78. I am going to still put that 345.40 in. I'm not sure if that's a legitimate pre-market high or not, but I'm just using it as a reference point as of right now. For the downside, if we gap higher, we would use 344.21 yesterday's high. Then don't forget, we had a price probe. That is 344.09, that is L's high. Then we had a small set of single prints, 343.88, get filled at 80. Again, you could use A's high if you want between A and K's high. Those That'll be a very visual area where the price spike started and then you had the single prints. Below that, we had the afternoon pullback low in J period of 343.01 and then yesterday's low of 342.27. 341.79 at very large POC from the 24th, and then 341.06 daily low, filling the gap at 339.72, 134 point gap. So, once again, game plan for this morning. Well, again, there's still over an hour to go. It's basically been the same, depending, depending if we get a gap of less than a dollar, but more than, say, 20, 25 cents. I would look to take a call play and use the gap as my out. If, it, if the gap gets larger prior to 9.30, then I'm just going to wait for market-generated information, see if we get an inventory adjustment. If in the next hour we open below the price probe, but above the single prints, then I'm certainly going to wait because then that's a battle. Do we take out yesterday's high? Does the trend day hold? Does the price spike hold? I would wait for more market-generated information. Remember, M's range was this, one of the smallest I've ever seen, 32 cents. So if you get accepted into it, I would think the odds of this coming in and filling those single prints are very good. And then the next important thing would be what happens where change took place, right? We traded eight for eight wide. We only ended eight wide. They raised it. So we were very happy to do business here, and then change took place in K, L, and M. So what happens where change took place? If buyers are able to hold that level, then value should be at least overlapping to high, if not higher, and then we'll see what happens if we go and take out yesterday's high. If, however, you're not accepted above here, you get accepted back into the initial balance from yesterday, then I would think the odds are very good at least going back to the eight wide puck and then seeing what happens at yesterday's low. Remember, again, our ranges have been small. So the opportunities for outside day um, down uh, or up, but in this case, since we've been gapping higher, it would be an opportunity for an outside day down, at least initially, they come into play. This market is incredibly tired. There's no volume. They, they're either going to get reinforcements to continue higher and more importantly, confirm this move up, or at some point, you'll probably get a pretty violent, quick flush of a day or two, wiping out a good 2% of what we've done so far. All remains to be seen. I'm not gonna even show you the charts. We are one time framing up in all time frames. <clears throat> Come and check us out at camelbacktrading.org. Again, <clears throat> this is up to the second information you get all day from 9.15 to 4 p.m. These free videos are great, but for, for just $20 a month, you're getting a roadmap as this day evolves, as the, as the new painting on the canvas begins at 9.30. Good luck trading, and we'll recap at 
4 p.m.